Welcome back to my channel. Your girl is finally COVID free. I'm negative. It took me about like two weeks, I want to say. Like maybe like 12 days. Not 14, but 12. So damn near two weeks. Um, yeah. But I'm doing a lot better. Finally, it's, I'm just so happy. Like I can leave the house now. I can get my life back. So, like you saw, this what this vlog is about. We're going to be doing a refresh, a reset. Got my phone going off. Um, so, yeah, just trying to get back into the swing of things, back into the groove of things because, yeah, y'all know it's been pretty rough over here. So, um, I'm dressing everything. We're about to go to the supermarket. We got to go to Trader Joe's, um, my local supermarket, and we got to go to Sprouts. Um, so that's what we're on our way to right now. Finally, you can get out the house. We don't have the Instacart anymore, which I hate Instacart. Uh, I mm, Don't even get me started. I just cannot stand Instacart. And y'all know I like to go grocery shopping. Like It's like therapeutic for me. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really like it. I think I only like it because it's something that my dad and I used to do when I was like younger, like grade school, um, even a little bit of high school. So it's like... I don't know, I used to have fun with him going grocery shopping, so it's like, it's not a chore for me now. Like, I actually really enjoy it. So, yeah, I just got on my essential hoodie per usual. My Lululemon black groove pants, nothing special. I'm with my Uggs on, it's cold today. It's, it's not bad, it's 53, but I'm not getting dressed. Basically, like, I don't feel like I'm 100% better, but I'm negative, but we'll get there. So, like, I'm like 90, probably like 85 today. Yesterday was 90, it kind of just, like fluctuates and i just can't wait to be back to 100 percent like you can see like my voice still isn't my actual voice and stuff but i have so much more energy than i did before and you know i'm okay now so we're about to head out i'm going to do my favorites of the day it's dossier you already know um i got two fragrances for y'all per usual the fragrance that i'm going to wear i'm going to start off with first and then we'll get into the other one. Oh my god i feel like i'm i sound congested I don't feel congested, but I feel like I sound like it. Anywho, so what I'm gonna be wearing today is Ambery Vetiver. So the top notes are bergamot, lemon, mm, I don't know if I can pronounce this. Buku, Bu, Buchu, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that note is. Um, middle notes are orange blossom, marigold, and violet. Base notes are vetiver, amber, and cedarwood. So I, I never understood how to pronounce this. I'm just going to try. I think it's Bal d'Afrique. Y'all know the one I'm talking about. I'll put it on the on the screen. Like I'll spell it out on the screen for y'all. Y'all know this one is a very popular like, by Rado. I'm going to just call it BDA. <laughs> it's very popular. You know, this is like one of like by Rado's like scents that they're really known by. So the fact that Dossier has it on the website, the Inspired scent, it's pretty crazy. Like Dossier really do be having some heavy hitters. Like y'all got Byredo, period. The next scent is um, Aromatic Pineapple. This one is for Isaiah. Y'all know I just, I'm like splitting it now. I get some, you get some. That's just how it is now. Aromatic pineapple. The top notes are bergamot, ginger, pineapple. The middle notes are sage, geranium, and juniper berry. The base notes are amberwood, cedarwood, and oof, I cannot pronounce this. 
Olibanium. It's probably so wrong. Olibanium. Whatever that note is. Um, so this is inspired by YSL Y. Like I said, this is for Isaiah. So this is categorized as a cologne. Um, I don't think I would be wearing this scent. Like, it's just, I think it's just not for me. But on him, it's going to smell so freaking good. Like, it smells good. I just feel like I wouldn't. Let me see. Let me just mix them. Hmm, I might have lied just now. Smelling it again. Like, I feel like when I smelled it, when I first got it, it was just kind of like a little too masculine. But now that I'm smelling it, it was a little sweet. Okay, I kind of like that for me too. I'm telling you, we're going to be in here sharing these. Like, it's just, it is what it is. He, he already know the deal. So, um, yeah, y'all know how I feel about Dossier already. I'm not going to talk your head off about it. I'll have everything linked down below for y'all, of course, in the description box. Um, so yeah, let's head to the supermarkets, plural. Um, it's 1020. Hopefully we can be home by 12. Is that going to be possible in the city? Mm, we'll see about that. We'll see how traffic is. But, uh, yeah, let's go so I can get back. I got to come back and we got to finish off our little steps. The grocery store or the supermarket is step four in this little refresh and reset that we got going on. So yeah, let's go get to it. Um, I'm gonna read y'all my list in the car, everything that we gotta get. Me and you, bring your money, sis. We gotta get this food. Um, so yeah, let's go so we can get back home. <laughs> y'all i can't even explain how good it feels to be outside okay like i'm in the house like with them oh yeah it's cold it's so sunny it feels good it feels like hoodie weather like i feel like my days of wearing a jacket is done like i'm sorry it's done i can't like bring spring on please y'all already know how i feel about that but i'm <laughs> my jacket's about to be packed away until <laughs> december okay because it is nice out here i'm so i'm just so like grateful to be able to be outside and like <sighs> breathe fresh air like it just feels so good but anyway we're on our way to trader joe's first so from trader joe's we gotta get sourdough bread we gotta get what else where's my phone at <gasps> did i no, 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 I didn't leave. I was say, did I leave my phone in the house? Because I'm, I'm good for doing that. Um, we gotta do, we gotta get sourdough bread, spinach, arugula, bacon, um, I think that's it from Trader Joe's. And then I'm gonna read the whole list when we get there because the light is about to change, but <clears throat> basically, we don't have to get much from Trader Joe's. And we're not going in here for just vibes. We we have a list, okay? It's not, we're not doing, <laughs> we're not doing all that. Like, we're not going in here and seeing what Trader Joe's is telling us what we need. No, I'm telling Trader Joe's what I need. And we just need sourdough bread, okay? Um, and then at my regular supermarket, we're going to get some stuff. Because... The Super Bowl is obviously on Sunday, which I think because of that, I'm going to post this on Monday because ain't nobody going to be watching YouTube on Sunday. I'm not. So I think I'm going to just be editing this vlog while we're watching the Super Bowl. We're not doing anything. It's just me and my man. And um, we're going to have lamb burgers. Isaiah, so at the supermarkets, I don't need to really get any meat because Isaiah went... Um, to this meat market in philly and we got a whole bunch of meat like lamb chops rack of lamb um ground lamb uh he got turkey wings and some other stuff so he wants to have turkey wings and lamb burgers with the ground lamb um for the super bowl with some like fries and stuff so um yeah Trader Joe's is impact. Praise God. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, we just gotta get some stuff. The city is on a high because the boys, yes, come on out so I can take your spot. Sis, come on out. 
and them boys in the Super Bowl, like, <laughs> the city is just, it's, it's about to be crazy here in Philly, and I'm here for it, like, it's been a little boring, not gonna lie, not that we're gonna be, like, doing anything, but when the Eagles win, not if, when they win, <laughs> mm, it's gonna be a wrap for the city, y'all know Philly is crazy, if they win, everybody's gonna go crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, like his parents, Isaiah's parents are flying up here next week for the parade. Like the hotels downtown in Center City booked. Like it's 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 really about to be crazy here. So it's just super fun. Um, I love when it's like positivity in Philly and not just oh we killing each other out here. Like no, that's not the vibes. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna wear my mask and be a considerate citizen, just in case, even though I'm negative, but <clears throat> just wanna be considerate, cause I did stop wearing my mask, y'all, surprise, surprise. Like, only if, I, where I was going, if I knew, like Target or the supermarket, I knew it was gonna be super packed. But like, if I was like going to the mall and stuff, oh yeah, that mask was on. Anywhere that it was like populated, like heavily populated, my mask was on. But other than that, I did finally stop wearing it. And it felt good, I'm not going to lie. It felt good not to wear my mask. But, and here we are, back at it. So, let me actually read y'all this list real quick before I get out the car. Um, is someone in here? I would say, oh my god, they're all on my camera. So, we got to go to Trader Joe's, Sprout, my supermarket. So, we need um, brioche for French toast. Why is my phone off? Oh, my phone do not disturb. I forgot. Um... We need brioche from Trader Joe's also because I have a sponsorship and I have to like do like a little cooking thing. So I want to get um, my French toast from here. Well, the bread to make French toast from Trader Joe's like I always do. So we need brioche um, bread, brioche buns, everything bagels for Isaiah, sourdough bread for me and us. Um, I was thinking about getting some garlic naan, but I don't know if I'm going to because... Mm, maybe I sh I might I don't know we'll see about that um we need fettuccine pasta we need fries onions bacon sausage turkey why did I say turkey bacon <clears throat> we don't need turkey bacon I don't know why I put that I put it for a reason and I don't know what that reason was I don't know about we're not getting turkey bacon I don't think we need that um, heavy cream, milk, blue cheese dressing, parmesan, cream cheese, um, Vermont cheddar cheese, gouda, mustard, tuna, salmon, maybe salmon, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, orange juice, V8, caramel water, eggs, um, pepper, spinach, arugula, onions, green onions, parsley, cilantro, rosemary, basil, thyme, garlic, potatoes, rainbow carrots, broccoli, mini cucumbers, bananas, berries, dog food. So the heavy hitters are like, obviously everything on this list is basically just uh, vegetables and freaking fruits. Um, so yeah, that's what we need from out the three supermarkets. So let's go get this done because, um, like I said, I'm trying to get in the house. It's now, uh, it's still 10, but let's just get this done. Trader Joe's is done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do like a haul. Cause I kinda showed y'all in the cart. But those peach halves that I showed y'all, chef's kiss. Those are the best, like, ever. The best, they're so sweet, but they're not in like syrup. Cause if, if they were in syrup, I wasn't gonna get them. Like I wouldn't get them. Um, they're in, 
white grape juice. So, so, oh crap. You know, I'm just so tired of the construction in Philly. Like, um, yeah, they're in white grape juice. They're not in syrup. I got two jars back in January. Gone. Demolished. So good. I was having them, like, as dessert. Like, my something sweet. Um, after dinner, I would have, like, two of them. Like, two of the peach halves with, like, a whole peach. So good. So, so good. Like, they are so, so good. It's still my way. <laughs> so good. So, if you see my Trader Joe's, pick them up because they were, like, they're not new. They were just, they, like, stopped carrying them for a little while. Um... And now they have them back in stock. They're so good. It's so good. Like, even sometimes I was even putting, like, a little bit of whipped cream on them. Just, like, a little bit. Even though they don't, they don't need it. Like, they're sweet in their own. But just, like, for, like, some peaches and cream action. So good. So, so good. So, I'm at my supermarket now. We're going to get Starbucks in here. Before we go shopping. Starbucks. I'm going to get a matcha. Um, I did get some stuff that was on the list okay I will admit it wasn't like but <laughs> like the peaches weren't on my list because I forgot about them because I haven't had them since January um, like early January so I, I had to get them um, but other than that I think I was like really 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 good with dang I gotta park all the way back here not getting carried away so yeah now we're at my supermarket. I got, um, I did end up getting some turkey bacon, ironically. Not for me, though, for my dad, because they had, like, this peppered turkey bacon. And my dad doesn't eat pork. So, anytime I see some, like, fancy or, like, just not, like, typical turkey bacon, I try to pick it up for him. Um, since he doesn't eat pork bacon. Because I know turkey bacon can get really boring after a while. And my dad doesn't go to Trader Joe's and stuff, so I got that for him. His birthday is on a Valentine's Day on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go up in here. Let me actually go through my phone real quick and check off some of the stuff that we got in, in Trader Joe's so that I don't like get confused on my list. So we got the brioche, we got the sourdough, we got the gar I did get garlic naan. One thing about Trader Joe's is that like, it seemed like it be adding up real quick. Like, it only came to 80. I'm not saying only. That's kind of, that's a lot. Um, but I feel like I didn't get anything. Ciao. Let's go. These guys are gonna be looking at me vlog. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, let's go. Uh-uh, not they loud, so I'm about to go another way. I'm walking around. I don't have time.
Understand, like, like people who work in customer service, like who deal with customers and stuff. I will. <coughs> sorry, I will never understand how y'all wanna y'all work. Well, not wanna, cause like who wants to work? But I don't understand how y'all work these jobs, but have attitudes. Like, I just. I don't, I don't, I will never understand it. Like, just, I just, I don't understand. And, like, my matcha is, like, super grainy. When I was ordering my matcha, she made a face like it was going to be, like, hard work for her to do. Like, it wasn't crowded. I was the only customer. Like, and then she made it real shitty. Like, it's, like, super, you can see, like, it's super powdery at the bottom. Like, it doesn't blend it good. Like, I'm sorry that I'm on a matcha. Like, I'm, I didn't tell you to work at Starbucks. I'm so sorry. Like, it's not even about, like, being fake. But I feel like, for me, like, even when I like was when I was a nanny, I'm like, I honest to God, like, did not feel like going into work or anything like that. Didn't feel like being bothered with kids. Like, or when I worked at a daycare and was a lead teacher, like, you suck it up. You suck it up. You put a smile on your face. And you do your job. Like, yeah, I don't want to be here. But I'm not going to let you know that I don't want to be here. Like, I just, mm, I, I don't know if it's a Philly thing. And it's so crazy because it's a Philly thing. It's like the whole theme of the Super Bowl and the Eagles. But, like, like, I lived in Philly my whole life, majority of my life. Like, it, um, it's just Philly. But, like, when I lived in Texas and, like, the DMV, it wasn't like this like it wasn't like people working who had attitudes like or not as bad like you could go anywhere in philly and like i'm gonna say like seven out of ten times the person's like checking you out or whatever is gonna have an attitude period like i just mm -mm. anyway now we're gonna go to sprouts that's gonna be a quick in and out and i'm trying to check my packages um Okay, yeah, all right, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get out of here. It's kind of cold, too. So, yeah, anyway, let's go get this stuff and then go home. It's 12 o'clock. I said I was gonna be home by 12, but I'll be home by like 12.30, so it's not that bad. Mm. Y'all, I'm not even being dramatic. Y'all know I be dramatic, but I'm not being dramatic. The milk is nasty, first of all. I got oat milk. They used um, Nature's Promise oat milk disgusting i never had that before but i saw her like pouring it in there that's disgusting nature pumps oat milk mm -mm. and then like i just got a whole like um like mouthful of just matcha powder like i want my money back this was six dollars i could have made this at home and it would have been chef's kiss like see that's why you're not supposed to send your money outside the house just mm, that's what i get that's what i get Anyway, I don't have to chug it down because I'm not wasting my six dollars. But morning. Oh, I'm 
far away. Oh my gosh, it's like craziness. Just trying to get to the supermarket. All right, I'll see y'all. Niggas ain't gotta respect. Niggas just gotta accept. I put that top left. I love my crony to death. Hype Williams, no X. If you don't say it, the record, give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. I put some ice on her hand. I let her take an advance. She wasn't going to plan. I put a shit in the van. She got to move with a friend. Cause she went back to her man. Give a fuck. I just put a wagon in the driveway, you know I did When I shoot my shot, it's still a wild way it's going in Me and Lil Sicko sitting sideways, breaking tents Used to be an anti-social nigga, now I'm making friends I just got a mansion out in Turks and it's a beach front Then she bringing four friends, I know I hit at least one Got a mall tent and bought a pool and they greased up Police in my city, man, I keep it by the streets up Me and Capo trying to leave, I'm walking peace to Easter Ain't nobody make it too much money on the beach stuff But I be for rapper cause I'm never with the sweet stuff Johnny came from Mexico, she know she got the sweet stuff Hey, niggas ain't got respect Niggas just got accept I put that top left I love my cardio to death Hype Williams, Lil X If you don't say it, the record, give a fuck Fresh, I live my jeans and they vex you Lemons, I live my teeth and I come up in here We're not even gonna talk about it. Get somebody else. Let me just throw these. Get somebody else to talk about it. Cause I ain't talking about it. I ain't even gonna talk about it. Yeah, it's been a couple days. We know what happened. We're not even gonna talk about it. Get somebody else to do it. But um, so yeah, my tripod broke. Dumb people lost. And um, yeah, it's just just been kind of busy around here. So I haven't picked up my camera because I have so much filming to do today. I didn't work yesterday. Yesterday was like cleaning, prep, recovering from the Super Bowl, all of that. So I wanted to um, try these Moisture Glow Plumping Serum by Mario with you guys that I showed y'all in my last vlog. And then I also got a, a lip liner by him and it comes with a pencil sharpener and everything. Or like a, yeah, pencil sharpener. Um, so I want you to just come on here and finish off my lips with y'all and then I gotta get to work. So I have a lot of sponsorships. I'm not like complaining or anything, but like I'm a little frazzled because it's like, I don't know what it was, but February was just like, the brands was 
coming through okay and i'm very blessed i'm very fortunate like I, i'm so happy but i'm also like recovering from covid still like you can still hear my voice and like even on saturday i didn't feel good at all like at all um it just got like a hold on me and it won't release me like fucking release me bro and more makeup oh that is so bad i'm gonna have to clean it up with concealer but the thing about these brushes is well not these brushes these pencils is that it comes with the brush at the end so you can like um blend it and stuff like yeah i haven't done my makeup in i don't know how long so it's y'all i'm a mess still don't mind me am i blocking y'all yeah i forgot how to do this i forgot how to do makeup and that's the thing right i'm not no nail tech i'm not no lash tech makeup artist and for some reason my family and it is what it is like it is what it is like i don't mind it at all but for some reason they be thinking that since i can do it on me i can do it on everybody else no i know my body i know how to do my nails because i practice on myself i know how to do my makeup because i practice on my face on myself like i'm not trained in this i'm not I ain't go to school for this. I ain't, I, I ain't practice on nobody else. Like, but for some reason, my family love me. I'm like, oh, can you do my makeup? Oh, can you do my let? My mom is so good for me doing her lashes. Like, sis, I'm not. A, well, technically, I did get certified, so I can't even say that. I I did get certified, um, and trained to do lash extensions, but I never took it seriously. Like, I didn't really know um like no shade or anything i just it just i just realized that it just wasn't for me and like i couldn't really practice it in philly because you have to be an esthetician to do it legally and that's not really my goal like that wasn't really on my agenda to become an esthetician <clears throat> and the only way i was going to do it is if i was going to do it legally um but when i was living in maryland in the dmv you don't need to be um well, I can't speak for the DMV as a whole, but I know in Maryland, you don't have to be an esthetician to do lashes. You can just be a certified lash tech to do them. Girl, as soon as I got my certification, we was out of Maryland. We was back in Philly, like back home. So I just never did it. But anyway, my mom loves, yeah, because I got to do her lashes on Monday. Can you do my lashes? Sis, my guy sister, like a couple weeks ago, right before I got sick, was like, yeah, can you do my nails? So I had to do personal nails on her. This Friday, I gotta do my niece's uh, senior portraits makeup again. I did it for her back in December, and she wanted to do her pictures over. She didn't like how she smiled and all that, so she wanted to do like a retake. So she texts me like, "Yeah, hey auntie, can you do a makeup, girl?" And the thing, like I said, I don't mind it, but it just makes me nervous because it's like I don't do this for real. Like the lashes, I'm cool with. I can do the lashes. I never did press my nails or anybody else but myself. And they came out okay. Like, there was some air bubbles because she had got some French. Well, I got her French uh, press-ons. So, you know what the French, like, if you have the bubble, you can see it. Like, the glue bubble, you can see it. Um, so, like, stuff like that, doing people makeup, it just gets me a little bit nervous because I don't want to have them looking crazy out here. And at the same time, I can do it, but it's not, like, you know, and I don't want to let people down and it's not what they expected. You know what I mean? Like... But they just, <laughs> even my guy sister, like, I did her makeup for her sweet 16, like, and I don't mind any of it. Like, I will do it for you, no problem. But just know I'm not professional, like, <laughs> I can do it on me, yes. I'm going to have to practice on you in order to get it to how, you know what I mean? But anyway, child, yeah, so I got to do that. I got a whole bunch of office duties to do this week. Oh my God, this is nice. Where's my concealer? This is so, so, so nice. First of all, my hair is like uneven. I can never get my part straight, but anyway. Wow.
so nice i can't wait to use the other color this is nude glow so pretty and that lip liner yes this is exactly the shade i was looking for i was on a hunt for like a nice chocolate brown and lo and behold this is what milk chocolate so nice i'm gonna have to um sorry here come covid <coughs> can't get rid of this cough i can't tmi get rid of the mucus like i'm just really like mucusy <sighs> anyway this is nice okay soft it's not sticky it's shiny i gotta clean this up with concealer but um yeah so anyway i'm gonna start filming for this one sponsorship because i want to get it over to them immediately um i'm so excited i'm so grateful for this sponsorship like but uh yeah i'll catch up with y'all after i'm gonna try to knock out two sponsorships and leave one for tomorrow i'm not going to try to do too much because i still got to edit both and send both over um and then i'm gonna come back on here because i want to do a, a perfume not haul tour i know some people call it tours just a perfume collection i'll show y'all my updated perfume and stuff like that because someone did ask for that so um i'll show y'all because sorry not to be smacking like that um i also got two two yeah two new perfumes um gifted to me like just pr so i want to include them in my collection um and then i want to show you all, all the dossier perfumes i have because like i said in my last vlog i have so many it's crazy i did declutter a lot of my fragrances and i gave them to my god sister my mom and stuff like that um so my collection isn't as big as it once was and yeah i just had to get rid of some stuff but anyway let me go it is 10 46 um kind of feel my energy already going a little bit just but yeah anyway let me go this is nice this is fire this is a 10 out of 10 both both okay mario no listen yeah if anybody knows what to do it's mario i'm in the middle of filming so sorry i didn't need my tv my kitchen is kind of messy right now um, I got like dishes in the sink that need to go in the dishwasher, but I don't have time for that. I don't need a negativity in my life right now. So, um, I'm trying to, so, so far the content that I have gotten has turned out really, really nice. Like I'm loving it so far. And if all goes well, I'll be able to get it up today. Because I just emailed them and told them that it'll be sent over to them shortly um for approval and if i can get it up today it would be perfect because today's valentine's day today's also like i said my dad's birthday so to me like today is not valentine's day is more importantly my dad's birthday but yeah i'll be able to get it up today which is perfect because the theme is for valentine's day so yeah <clears throat> i did like the whole like the other clips that I need to get for it, I got. Um, just reviewed them and stuff, and I like them. So I'm about to make French toast sticks. I've never done it before. I'm gonna try it. Um, and I like I've made the French toast before, but I've never made like French toast sticks with this. I'm gonna put it in my air fryer because I want them to be crispy, and I kind of saw a recipe on I need to get in here where y'all at I need to get into um let me get that real quick I um found a recipe on um sorry on TikTok so I got the gist like I don't need to watch it again um so I'm making like this breakfast charcuterie board type of vibe i'm nervous i've never done a charcuterie board let alone breakfast so i'm gonna make the french toast sticks because i figured i'll be able to like spread it out and also i just want to taste it i feel like it'll be really good my sponsorship is with sorry i'm like looking at the clock like i'm like 
antsy um is with world market if you don't know what world market is it's a furniture um store they're like they have storefronts and they're online they have really really nice like i knew about them because i looked up mirrors on there before because they have some like really pretty mirrors at like a decent price um so when they reached out i was just like wow you want to work with me like little old me like they're a big company and like i have worked with big companies but like it just never um gets old like it's never like oh been there done that like i don't care like it's just it's always just like wow like you like my work you found my page and you like my work because it's one thing like on my page and be like eh, we don't want to work with her but you found my page and you like my work and you want to work with me you want to pay me to promote your stuff like ugh. anyway this is what i've got from the sponsorship oh my god it's so heavy it's so nice it's a huge charcuterie board cutting board i know it's more for like decor purposes but it is technically listed on the website i gotta put it down um as a, a cutting board i will never cut on this because it's just too pretty it's the weight on that i got it sent to my mom's house because like i said i get all my important stuff sent to my mom's house like for sponsorships and stuff like that like i do get some stuff sent to my house but like i just it's like it's no it's foolproof to go to my mom's house. There's no error. There's no like, oh, we couldn't find your unit. Oh, we couldn't find with the UPS or the FedEx or whatever the shipment is. It's, it's just it's just never going to fail me at my mom's house. So I got it sent there. My mom bought it in her, into the house. And she's like, girl, what is this? She's like, it's a huge box. The box was humongous. Like way bigger than that, but like that's still big like it she was it wasn't heavy or anything because i felt bad i'm like oh my god because she had to bring it into the house um and so i went over there to get it and she's like yeah it's a huge box and then i also got so they let me pick out what i wanted to get and originally sorry isaiah's like i think he's on lunch so he's like playing a game he's not working right now um which I'm trying to hurry up to so that when he's in his next meeting, I'm done talking to you guys and like kind of filming in this area so I'm not like making noise. Um, anyway, this might be a long vlog. We'll see. I um, was originally gonna get like this black uh, dining set. The plates, the cup, the mugs, the bowls, so pretty. And I don't have anything that's like black. I don't have any black like dish dishes like i just don't i have some black bowls but they're not even really like a true black they're like a brown black so i was originally going to get that and then as it turns out it wasn't able to ship it was only available in store and the closest store to me is an hour and 50 minutes away so we that wasn't happening so i like was like oh hey we had to like pivot me and um the person from Royal Market had to pivot and was like, okay, what else can we do? So she was just like, just pick, see if you could pick something um, something else and, you know, we'll come up with an idea. So she, uh, she has just been so, so, so lovely. Like, I love when I work with brands and like, usually, like, I haven't experienced anything bad so far. But there's just like some people and she's from Scranton. So y'all know The Office is my favorite show. Y'all know I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm not from Scranton. I'm from Philly, but like, you know what I mean? So <laughs> we were like cracking up because she was like telling me, like, asking me, like, where am I shipping this to? And I was like, oh, ship it to Philadelphia. And she's like, oh my God, I'm from Scranton. So we were like busting it up. Like, it was, she just, uh, love her. So we came up with the idea that it was going to be like this whole breakfast, charcuterie, like, morning routine situation. So I also got this because I'm going to put some strawberries in here. Well, they're supposed to be in here already. I haven't put them in there because I've been wanting one of these for the longest. And when I saw it on there, I was like, give it to me because I wanted this so bad for the longest. I was like looking on Amazon and stuff like that because it's just so pretty um, to like store your, it's not necessary, but it's just pretty it's for the aesthetics to store your strawberries in here in your refrigerator. So um, I didn't get a chance to like actually start using it yet, but we're going to start today. Um, so French toast sticks, bacon, and then like blackberries, strawberries, um, and we're going to organize it on the charcuterie board and that will be the video. Y'all don't mind my TV, 
but look at what i created i'm so excited now i never made a charcuterie board so not too much on me but i wanted to leave like i didn't want to fill it up i wanted to leave like some of it exposed since this is obviously the product um so i just stuck with like one side um i guess i could have did diagonal mm, that would have been nice too but oh well i really like it i hope they like it um i hope you guys like it if you follow me on tiktok um but yeah i'm just really really proud of this so we're about to eat and i gotta keep filming um but yeah i just wanted to show y'all too so ah so excited not every time i come on this camera it's about to die but i look like a freaking potato <laughs> anyway hey guys yeah i'm about to show you the perfume collection what do we decide on naming it the tour the collection i'm about to show you my perfumes <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna show you the ones i have i'm gonna show you the ones that i have on my bookshelf because those are the ones i use like hands down always using those i do have some other ones like for instance um I have this one, the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy that I use like only when I'm like out the shower. Like I don't use this when I'm going out, you know what I mean? So I don't have this one over there. Although it kind of makes sense to have it over there if I use it a lot, huh? I just have this put away in my skincare drawer so that when I come up here to pick out whatever lotion I want to use for that night, I can just spray this on top because this one is really affordable. Um... And it smells really good. It smells like just vanilla. It just, yeah, it's just a, it's not really too much going on with this. And it's really light. Like I said, it's affordable. So I don't mind using it to go to bed. So, but I'm going to show you, like I said, the ones on my bookshelf. And then I'll show you like a, just a quick overview of my dossier ones. Because I'm not going to go through them because it's so many we will be here for a long time. I'm not going to bore you like that. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize it like how i want to show you because i kind of want to show you the notes without lingering on it too much to make this vlog super long because i did edit the remaining portion of this vlog and it's already at like 40 something minutes 47 i think so i don't really want to make this even longer than that i don't want to try to go, i'm trying not to go over like 55 minutes so yeah before we jump into that though i do want to show you the two that I was talking about that I got into NPR because I do want to add them to my bookshelf so that I can start reaching for them. So the first one I got is from Commodity Milk. Y'all know I worked with them back in December during Vlogmas. And wow, I really wish I had my tripod. Where is my tripod? Found it. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, give me one second, y'all. Okay. So like I said, the first one is from Milk. I was working with them back during Vlogmas and they sent me their whole um, perfume uh, collection to test out. And then um, once I figured out which one I wanted, they were gonna send me the big one. So they finally did. And I'm so excited. I just used it the other day. We had went out to eat. I didn't vlog though. Um, cause I have my nephew and I haven't seen him in a couple months. So I just wanted to like spend time with him, but I wore it out to dinner with him and it was, it just smells so good. So this is the packaging and then it comes with like a little pamphlet to tell you the notes. And the one I got is milk. Oh my God, my fingerprints are all on it, but I love this black bottle and this just smells so 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 good so yeah so we're gonna add this over there and then the other one that i got here is from ralph lauren they sent me this set which i thought was like perfect for valentine's day they sent it back in the end of january and i was like wow this is like i guess it was like for valentine's i'm not really sure they didn't really specify um but the whole listen to your heart and stuff i just kind of felt like it was like geared around valentine's day 
so this is what it looks like super super pretty they sent me one and then this one i believe is a cologne but can't be worn on anyone so i thought it was like so cute because y'all know isaiah is now into cologne and stuff like i keep saying so i was like oh my god this is so cute like his and hers and it's just it's even more special like that i'm i got a pr package and like it's cool because it's like obviously for me and like but it makes it even more exciting because like he gets something from it like uh, i was just like so excited so and he was so excited his actually i like his better than this one because this one is like a a true like rose floral type of scent and that really isn't usually my vibe like it smells good but out of the two i like this one a little bit better and he loves it but i didn't let him take it i didn't like take these out because i wanted to show y'all and then now i can finally put mine over there and then give him this one but i'm gonna be wearing this one because i really really like it this one the one more like feminine-esque is like perfect for springtime so i'm just like mm, like it really smells good it's like it just get, it screams floral spring and then his is like so hard to get out i don't even know why i shouldn't have put it back this is what the other one looks like this one Mm, it's just oh, i love this one i don't even know how to explain it i'm gonna have to look up the notes and put the notes on the screen for y'all because i don't even know how to like describe the scent in the did you see child look at that automizer yeah it just smells mmm it just smells so so good like so yeah anyway now we get into my collection over there and um and that'll be it for this vlog it's actually sunday when you're watching this so hey I, it's the same day vibe trying to get back onto like a really like strict week to week schedule like sunday to sunday we'll get there but Hopefully your Sunday is great, girl. Um, mine is okay so far. Just been editing the video for y'all. Um, yeah. I got a lot of shows tonight. And I'm so excited. Let's see. Now I'm about to get off track. But real quick. What is it called? The Last of Us? Mm, if you're watching that show, let's DM me. Let's talk about it. Or comment. Let's talk about it. Because that show is so good. Like I get so excited every Sunday to watch it. Then I have... Real Housewives of Potomac. I think the reunion might be tonight. Is it the reunion? I don't know, but it comes on tonight. Then I got this show on Food Network, the Tournament of Champs. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, but I just started it last week, and now the new season drops today, and I'm so excited. Um, you was trash. I know another part is coming out in March, but I just, I'm so over you. Um, what else? Was there another show? I know there's like basketball and stuff. Isaiah's excited about it. I'm not watching that, but I thought I had another show to talk about with y'all. I don't know, but it's Sunday. This video is about to be up for y'all in a couple hours. Have a great week, you guys. I'll see y'all on Sunday. And yeah, let's get into the store before I make this vlog extra long. I know y'all don't like long vlogs, so let's get into it. All right, so here is the little overview of all of them. So I do have these kind of arranged in the order, so to speak, but also at the same time, not necessarily. So the first row are like my favorite um, niche ones. Are they my only niche? They might actually be, well, I think Kayali is, is Kayali considered designer or niche? Anyway, I don't know, but basically they're my niche fragrances. They're also my prettiest bottles, in my opinion. Like, I just love staring at them, so I wanted them in the front. So then the next row are some of my favorite designer-esque 
fragrances so and they're like the smaller bottles and then after that it's kind of like just a random row of perfume and then the fourth row is just the bigger like the taller bottles and then in the back are my favorite dossier scents so without rambling let's just get into it real quick so first we have tom ford bitter peach i know everyone has this this is a um really good just fall winter scent if my camera will focus there we go but yeah this is really good i haven't actually worn this too much i don't even think i wore this at all during the fall i don't really like it as much as i used to but it's still like it's still a a top hitter i would say next i have oriana by perfumes de marley y'all know when i got this if you're not new here you know i was raving about this i still love this i don't touch it as much because i know it's really expensive but i will be reaching for this during like the spring and summer because it's just too too good hold on y'all let me get a chair so then i'm not breaking my back this whole time please hold okay next we have zerjoff lira so the like sub brand i would say like the sub category of zerjoff is casamirati so uh, that's why it says that but this is so good y'all this smells like a if you like lemonades from like the girl scout cookies that's exactly what this smells like it smells like a lemon cookie like it, it just smells so good so if you like lemon you love this if you like gourmands you love this because like i said it just smells like the best way to say it is that it just smells like a lemonade cookie like it just smells so so good this is like top two for me uh out of my whole collection i would say it just smells so unique like i love lira so much and then next also from zherzhov we have italica this is like an almond cookie so obviously i love gourmands but this one i know people say is like the best gourmand it, it is so good like it's almond caramel what else um like brown sugar it just smells like a, a almond like a sweet almond cookie i know that's like kind of hard to like picture in your head because obviously they're not like too many almond cookies but like that's honestly the best way i can describe this one so lemon and almond like oh it's so good let me actually smell this oh you know what else it kind of reminds me of like a biscoff cookie like that type of like deep molasses type of vibe so good and the bottles are just i mean y'all see just so pretty so next we have angel share y'all know about this um this is like a boozy apple pie boozy um cinnamon roll so good perfect for fall and winter i have apple brandy y'all know i got this during the sephora sale this is just like the name like it smells like a juicy apple with some brandy and then obviously y'all know the bottles are just amazing super pretty love 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 both of them next i have valentino born in roma everyone has this y'all have this y'all know about this not too much to say this is the perfect like signature set in my opinion like you could definitely definitely wear this every day now would you want to i don't know I, maybe some people do have this as a signature scent like it definitely is signature signature scent worthy i just wouldn't want to do it because i wouldn't want to get tired of it because it just smells so good like this is also like up there in my like top 10 for sure next i have valentino i'm trying to think about the name i think this is yellow dream this one when i first smelled it i loved it now not so much like i'll reach for it every now and then but I fell in love with it when I first smelled it and now I'm just like, mm, what was I thinking type of vibe. Like, I don't know, but I definitely um, like it enough to keep it. Like, I'm not going to declutter it, but it's just not as good as when I first experienced it. So next is Dior Hypnotic Poison. This is another one, the same vibe. Like, I loved it in the beginning. Now it just smells like straight up Play-Doh. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, but you can 
kind of see my liquid like I haven't used too much of it because it just it doesn't smell as good as it once did and that's disappointing because I mean it is a nice scent it's just not what it first was for me you know what I mean so I like it again I like it enough to keep it not to declutter it but it's just not one of the ones that I'm like over the moon about all right, next I have Ness Madagascar Vanilla. Y'all know I love this. I use this sparingly just because I don't know why I have this fear of running out when it's not going anywhere. I need to start picking this up more because this is also top 10 for me. Like this, even though it's not a traditional perfume, is amazing. Better than a lot of perfumes that I have, to be honest. This is like probably the most unique vanilla scent that I have. And it's just a 10 out of 10. Like, y'all know how I feel about this. I have the travel size, which I use also. I have two of the travel size. So maybe that's why I haven't reached for the big one. Because I'd be just using those. This one, if you don't have it yet, girl, get it. And thank me later, please. Next, I have Giorgio Armani My Way. Y'all know I got this during the sale. Also, haven't really been... I did use it when I first got it. But I kind of put it on the back burner just because... I'm saving it for spring and summer. It gives me more of that vibe more than like fall, winter. So that's why I haven't used it, but I still love it. Like when I showed y'all, I just, like I said, I'm just saving it for when it gets a little warm outside. I have Giorgio Armani My Way Intense. My best friend actually picked this up for me for my birthday. Um, so this has like, just, just, it's just really close to my heart. Like this, even though I have like these that I like, love this one is like above them because of the meaning behind it like it my one of my favorite people gifted it to me so it just you know i just it just means a lot so i actually did start using this so you can kind of tell let me see i started using it just because i was just so excited and so grateful that she got it for me so this one is just the same as my regular my way it's just more intense so now I have two and I'm actually really, really happy about it because the scent, like I said, is bomb. I just want to use it more spring and summer. All right. And next row, I have Juliet has a gun lipstick fet. Oh, I was going to say fetish. It's fever. Um, This one I got, I think back in 2021. This one I loved and I sprayed it in Sephora. Didn't get it right away. Kept thinking about it. Went back and got it. Loved it. Now, again, it, um... It's still really, really good. It just, I don't know. It doesn't hit the same, but I still like it. You know what I mean? Like, let me know if at first you're like crazy about your perfume and then after a while, you're just kind of like, it kind of dies down, but you still like it. It's just not as exciting as it once was because that's what it is for me with this. I don't have the regular Juliet has a gun, um, not a perfume. I don't have that one. I know that one is like, everyone has it and loves it. This one to me was better. Um, I still think it's better. So yeah, I don't really have too much of a dent. And then I have Sol de Janeiro's, what is this? Cherosa 62. This is the Boom Boom cream scent, but in a perfume. Obviously, I mean, I don't even need to flip it upside down. Y'all see the dent. I love this. I wear a lot to bed just because it doesn't last super long like a like any of these ones like or my designer ones it just it doesn't last as long it smells really good it lasts longer than the body spray but it doesn't last like it just it doesn't last too long like i would say about maybe three hours and then it's gone so i wear it to bed a lot and i also wear it when i just want to have like an easy grab so i love this this is a 10 out of 10 hate the packaging like i don't like the disco ball but the scent y'all know is amazing my next three are from kkw fragrance i don't think she has it anymore i'm pretty sure she stopped with all of her kkw businesses but this one i don't even remember the name i think it's like caramel i really don't know the name of this but the lid comes off and you have your automizer this one smells good it doesn't smell sorry my chair is like squeaking so that's what you hear um it doesn't smell like the greatest thing ever but it smells it's, it's okay it's more so the packaging for me you were supposed to be able to like put like a flower in here and i know this looks kind of like very uh you know what ish <laughs> but it's not it's not meant to be it was supposed to be like a, a flower vase so 
This one I would say is like a, I would rate it like a five out of 10. My next two are the exact same scent. I had ordered one, loved it so much that I ordered another one. I'm so glad I did because like I said, she doesn't have her companies anymore. So this one is Night Iris and it smells like berry, like berries, like your red berries, but sexy. So it's sweet, but sexy. And it's a very, like, I haven't smelled anything like this before. So I'm so glad that I picked up another one. And I don't use this a lot because, like I said, it is discontinued. And even though I do have two, or not discontinued, even though she doesn't have her shops anymore, even though I have two, I'm just so scared of running out of both of them <laughs> because they're so, so good. So I can't link any of her stuff, obviously, but these were the same, like, vibe, like, you could put a flower in type of thing. So, so good. Also, from KKW Fragrance, this one was the Kendall scent. I think this one was called Olive. This one also smells so good. You can see my dent. Like, so, so good. So unique. Very, like, date night-esque. Sexy, nighttime vibes. Like, it's just amazing. Can't get it again. So, I don't reach for it a lot because, like I said, I don't want to run out because... It ain't coming back. I'm so sad about it. Because this one, this is like, this and Night Iris, girl. Not a perfume, but deserves to be on display. Time for it, Soleil Blanc, the shimmering body oil. It smells like Soleil Blanc, but it's a body oil. Love this, obviously, for just summertime. So, yeah, let's shake it. So pretty. I think he came out with another one. Is there like a peachy looking one? I don't know, but love it so much so pretty oh my god let's get a little zoom in on this girl so pretty okay next <laughs> okay so this one is kkw body three i know a lot of people like i think body and body two this one smells like abercrombie like straight up abercrombie it smells like yeah not even Hollister, specifically Abercrombie. It smells really good. This is like very like date night, sexy, but kind of masculine vibes. So good. Next is Beret Her Elixir. Y'all know I just got this also when I got Oriana. So good. Oh, I feel like this is kind of light. I love this so much. This is a 10 out of 10. This is everything that I want in a perfume. <laughs> like it just smells so good. Rare berries whipped cream um sexy but girly just mm, fire and i love the bottle and then i have ebony wood we know kyra put us on this what i think two years ago loved it at first like wore it non-stop now it just smells musty like just not musky musty like must like it just smells like funk like i don't i don't like it i don't like it no more I be trying to use it because I know Kyra really be like still using hers and I used to love it. So I be trying to force it. Like I used to love this. Why don't I love this anymore? It just, it just don't, it don't smell good to me anymore. But yeah, that's that on that. <laughs> Next, also not a perfume, but yeah, they got to be on display. Baccarat, but this is also the sparkling body oil. You see it separates when it's just flat so let's turn it down and shake it so good it smells just like baccarat obviously but um just not as strong yeah it smells just like baccarat just not as strong so yeah so good this was a limited edition so I had to snag it and I think it it just came out last week again like they restocked it and it sold out like instantly if I if I would have called it I would have got another one because it's just so good can't wait to use it during the summertime so pretty so my next three are from Kayali this one is vanilla 28 this one is so good I think this is one like everyone loves everyone loves this but i stopped using it lately because everyone is saying that the new batch not the new batch but like 
they think that she reformulated it and so now if you were to buy it it doesn't smell as good as it used to so this one that i have is like a really really old batch i got this up i think about two years ago so because everyone is saying that like the newer ones like if you buy it right now it doesn't smell the same i'm like really really scared like they say it doesn't smell good at all and so i'm gonna have to figure it out i'm gonna have to see for myself because obviously i'm about to finish this this one also is in my top 10 this is besides ness this is the best vanilla scent there is ever period like it's just it smells like straight up vanilla extract like it just is so good brown sugar and a vanilla abstract period so 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 good love it so much so i don't know what i'm gonna do i gotta get another one i'm just scared i wear this to bed a lot i wear this out a lot i mix my fragrances with this a lot like this is just you need this out of all of them you need this one because it's so versatile you can mix it you can wear it on its own date night to bed during the day it doesn't matter it just smells just grab it it's so good oh well i can't say grab it because like i said <laughs> i don't know i don't know if it smells the same so if i tell you to get it and you get it and it's not like how mine smells because mine is older i don't know we might have to figure this one out but this one is a 10 out of 10 this is like top five so then i have eden juicy apple this one is okay this is more like body splash body spray fragrance mist vibes it doesn't last and it smells like a body spray like it doesn't smell high-end or expensive or anything like that and this is more of a spring and summertime scent it just smells like a fruity body spray like a fruity apple -y body spray this one is utopia try not to blind you this one i was so excited about because it was like promoted as vanilla and coconut this smells like straight up like a mature sunscreen like a, a sunscreen that like a 70 year old woman would use no shade or anything but it just gives me that vibe like like a like a more mature woman would really like this scent I don't know a lot of people like this it's not for me even if it just smelled like a beachy sunscreen it would have been fine but it just something i think it's like the floral notes in here that just don't vibe with me so okay now we're gonna get into dossier that i have in the back like my all-time favorite dossier scents so first we have a floral marshmallow you know i just talked about this not too long ago in a vlog probably um back in december look at my dent like i this is just bomb it's inspired by killian love don't be shy y'all know i love this i think it actually smells better than killian's like so i don't have any reason to buy it because this one is just this is amazing and it lasts forever so good next is ambery saffron this is inspired by um mfk's baccarat and it smells honestly to me it smells just like it so that's why i don't have baccarat because i have the body oil but i didn't feel like i needed to buy it because this smells just like it like it's just 10 out of 10. next i have gourmand white flowers this one is inspired by flower bomb victor and Rolf flower bomb and it smells just like it this actually smells a little bit sweeter and i like that so yep here's my little my dent so good Next, I have Musky Musk. I think this one is inspired by Carolina Herrera. Good girl. I'm not 100% sure. I got to find my um, pamphlet that has it, that has the name on it. But I think that's what this is. So good. Next, I have a Florian to an almond. I can't remember what... I, I should have pulled my pamphlets out. I can't remember what this one is inspired by. But I just know it smells so, so good like mm, i'll have it on the screen for y'all but so good and then lastly in my top six i think that was six is oriental cherry this one is inspired by tom ford lost cherry and it smells it doesn't smell to me it doesn't smell as medicinal as lost cherry from tom ford so love this one as well here are all um of the dossier fragrances that i have i think i'm actually missing a couple because i counted and it was 19 
and I think I might be listening. I think I might be off by like four. And these are not included in the ones that Isaiah has, but they are including the six, like some of the six that I showed you are included in here too. So yeah, just, I think it's a crazy amount, but they're just so, so good y'all. Like I really highly recommend them. So yeah. So you know how I was saying earlier in the vlog that I really like the Makeup by Mario milk chocolate lip liner this one that i use on camera girl i liked it so much like i couldn't stop thinking about it that i want to order two more colors because it's just so good like mm, so, so so good so i got what is this i got almond and then i got tan because i wanted lighter ones because that one although it's like a really pretty milk chocolate i feel like i wouldn't be able to use it like as much as i wanted to just because it's a little um more of like a deep like rich brown so the top one is almond and the bottom one is tan so let me swatch these real quick and i wanted to get more but they yes this is what i wanted this is gonna be like my lips but better I wanted more, but they're like sold out. Like I guess everyone, I'm late, I'm very late. Everyone loves these. And a lot of the shades are just sold out. So this should have been caramel because this looks like straight up caramel. This is really pretty. So this one is almond. Um, I know these swatches aren't really good. And then the top one is tan. So, and then let me swatch milk chocolate for y'all so y'all can just see the a difference so yeah milk chocolate almond tan so that's why i wanted a lighter one because i will be able to just use it more like on an everyday basis love these like i'm obsessed with mario right now like just 100 percent obsessed love these so much these are my favorite and i've tried a lot of the liners morphe mac nyx no these are good a little pricey but considering you get a pencil sharpener and you get the little brush at the end i feel like it's like a he can get away with it like it's really mm, bomb 